Hey everybody, how you doing? I was getting ready to film a different video when I came across the iron skillets. They're still intact. We've used them in a couple other videos. If you haven't seen those videos yet, go check them out. They're pretty awesome. You might be surprised by the results of us comparing different guns against these skillets. There were tons of requests for us to shoot these with a 4570, and we never did it. So I figured, why don't we go out real quick, make a super quick video, shooting these cast iron skillets with the 4570. These three holes you can see here are from the video where we compared a 30 out 6, a 308, and a 3030, where you can see they all went all the way through. But you turn around and look at the back when they exited, they came out in holes progressing bigger as they got there. You see there the small hole, medium hole, and big hole. The question is, what's going to happen with the 4570? Let's take a look quick at the 4570 bullets we're going to use on the cast iron skillets. When we shot these with the high power rifles, we used lead tipped bullets. So I think only to be fair, with the 4570, we're going to use these 300 grain Winchester Super X hollow point lead tips. That way we'll hopefully have somewhat of a good comparison between lead nose rounds between 3030, 308, 30 out 6 and the 4570. All the high power rifles that we shot this with that made those holes were 150 grain bullets. This Super X is a 300 grain bullet. So the bullet weight is twice as much. Let's load it up in the Marlin 1895. Shoot this thing, see what happens. I'm gonna aim square dab from the center there. All right, loading up these Super X 300 grain soft tips. Go see what happens on these skillets. I think there's a lot bigger hole there in one particular obvious spot if you're looking at what I'm looking at. You can see there that front skillet had a much 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 bigger hole in the front but we'll see what happened. Remember the other shots from the 30-30, 30-06 and 308 went from a small hole to a medium hole to a bigger hole so we'll see what happened to the skillets with the 45-7 Like I said you can obviously tell where we hit with the 4570. I didn't hit in the center where I was trying to, but I stepped away pretty far just to be on the safe side. Obviously, see that big 4570 hole, big old hole there in the front. Now, what's it gonna look like when we turn it around? Ho oh ho! So, interesting. The middle one, it blew out. A whole lot and then the back one it blew out where it was obviously weaker from the other two rifle shots it also blew off the whole side of the back one I wonder if there's any bullet in there surely not but nope to me the best part is that big old hole there at the bottom from the 4570 compared to the other three rifles thanks for watching the video guys if you haven't seen the other videos where we've shot skillets with pistol calibers and high power rifles you're going to want to check it out you might be surprised at what happened if you haven't seen those videos already if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to the hootie hoo channel comment down below ideas for future videos stay tuned for the next one hootie hoo